So should we leave the the grooves in here, or is that gonna make it so harder to get? No, you off? you are doing it right right now. Uh, what we need to do is to get the lightness of Marilyn first, and we're gonna smooth it one solid uh, 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 hairdo solid form. In the meantime, you need to fill the gaps here and get it, you know, like uh, rounded. Later on, we're gonna smooth it and. Uh, because it's the easiest way to cast it. Otherwise, you know, by leaving the grooves like this, it's gonna get it. It's gonna be very difficult to remove the casting. Uh, we need to get a, a negative out of this. So just keep working. You know, try to get the uh, the character of the of the Marilyn Monroe in this sculpture. Uh, this is good. Uh, we may need you, we may need to because this is it looks too high. The, you see how it's too high? Mm -hmm. uh, but I keep keep feeling it. What I you know what I see here, this is too high. We can cut a little bit from here mm -hmm. and then cut a little bit from here and make it more more uh, mm -hmm. more uh, like Marilyn type of hairdo. Uh, in the meantime it's easier to put more and then we it's mm -hmm. easier to, to add and then we can subtract. Okay. You know, so <laughs> Parts of the model, I still gotta fill in, or it's yeah. gonna get stuck in there with the plaster. Oh no, it doesn't get stuck. It, you know, the way they resolve that is with uh, petroleum jelly. Okay. So, well, you know. Just so, so there's not any spots. I'm just trying to figure right. it No, it's fine. Divide. Whatever you think is better to improve this, mm -hmm. it's fine. But, you know, when you get the spots like this, mm -hmm. uh, yes, petroleum jelly, even petroleum jelly on top of this, it's, mm -hmm. it's just fine. Okay. It's just fine. So, so we fixed it so that this is the main release here, so it should pull apart here. And I did all the shims from the bottom up uh -huh. around it, so that this way we'll release it from the bottom. Is this up high enough, you think? Um, you know something? Uh, turn it around. Because, I think so, because if we have these releases here and this here, what is going to happen is going to this will be open and this will give us more room. Mm -hmm. You know, we can actually, if we have it over here, we can, you know, it'll work. Do you think all the, is all are the holes filled up? Do you see any parts in the cracks we need to still get? Well, you have to fill the cracks. As the reason you, I, I, I don't recommend you to remove the clips mm -hmm. because that is gonna prevent the uh, the gesso from from dripping. So just put the uh, petroleum jelly with the with these clips on, so you can fill the gaps. So that the the petroleum jelly is gonna seal those gaps. Okay. So, how many caps did you put? Six? Yeah. Okay. So, three. Make a note, Emiliano. Yeah. So, next time we can kind of size it. Ready? Okay. Can we do it? Good. I think it's much water. Mm -hmm. Or it's setting already, Emiliano. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I get it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Was that anywhere close this? Right? No, 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 no. This is this is the real thing. So it's still still hot? No, it's it's cooling now. Okay. Well, just just yes, little by little. You see how how is how it opens, Emiliano? Mm -hmm. um, so no problem. We're gonna do it. Uh, we're gonna do this. So okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Careful, so we can use the same mold again. Should be pretty good. Should be pretty good, right? Yeah. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Alright. 
These are knives, serrated knives, stay knives, work very well. And basically, when you when you already have the idea of what you want to do, you kind of rough cutting it, you know, with this uh, uh, soba. But my advice when you do this carving is to, is to, because you are not very proficient in carving, in carving yet, to take small pieces, doing the edges, for example, and 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 the or, and, and I'm advice, advising you to take a small pieces because you know with this you only take away, but you you will not be able to put back. Yeah. So until you are proficient in this, and I still do it, you know when when I'm carving, when I'm feeling sure, I stay start taking a small pieces and and visualizing every time. You know, of course, you have to. So, you know, if we are doing a shape, you know, we human, this this is more like this, but are we going to exaggerate it to, to do it something like this, a little bit, and I start taking away the shoulders, kind of visual, visualizing, you know, what it's going to be, you know, this will be the shoulders. Will be the, you want you want probably a bell here, and this is gonna be like a, the same, you know. And it, it, just take away little by little, and and until it, when you feel more confident, then it will be easy for you to. Let's don't worry much about this because we can dress it the way that I showed you before. But uh, you know, it's easy to visualize what what you are doing, right? And so, so what I have here are, are the the makings for the traditional uh, glue that we use for paper mache. It's called engrudo. Uh, it's actually a very very traditional recipe that's been used for hundreds of years in Mexico by craftspeople. Um, but basically, it just con is consisted of flour, water, and a little salt or lime to preserve it so it doesn't spoil uh, in the sun or the heat or anything. And these are cooked into a paste. There's not really a specific ratio uh, for it. It all depends on your preference. But it's about a, a three, three to one, uh, three parts water, one part flour, and then just a dash of salt in there. So now that we've made the engrudo, we're going to go ahead and put the paper on the mold here. I'm going to start putting it on this pink insulation mold, which we put uh, Vaseline on, which is going to help us release the paper once it's cast. Uh, but I could do the same thing on, on the plaster. I'd put Vaseline on here and this use this as a mold, or, or wood, or, or any other thing like that. So the, I'm going to start putting the paper on here. We like to use the brown paper because it's a, it's a lot gets a lot stiffer, um, and this is more what you see tradi traditionally used in Mexico. So you go ahead and get a, a lot of glue on here, and then once the whole thing's kind of wet in your hands, you tear off tear off pieces to fit as you go, and start putting it on the mold. That Vaseline is, is going to provide a barrier for us so that it's going to come right off and, and the glue is not going to stick to the mold, it's just going to stick to the paper. So 
So now that we have the paper cast on here, we're gonna cut the mold in order to release the paper off of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the cuts here so we can use, get, just get the paper off. So now that the paper is released, we're going to go ahead and, and start the assembly process by sealing up these seams here with uh, more paper so that you can't see the seam at all, and then uh, start putting all the body parts together. Uh, right now we're painting the skeletons to get them ready for, for Walker's Point and uh, I'm putting a kind of a thin coat of paint on here, kind of more watered down to give more of a bone uh, feeling or bone texture on the, on the skeleton. <laughs> 